Modern life has become very complicated. Um, to succeed and, and to get all the things that you want means mastery of so many different areas, okay? You know, if you're making money online, you need to learn that and you need to learn, you need to get an education in business and you need to get an education in lifestyle and women and all these different areas that our parents and grandparents' generation and, and especially the generation before that did not have to master, okay? When you're growing up on a farm in the 1800s or whatever, you know, your life is not that complicated. But modern life right now is very complicated, especially if you want to master um, everything at a higher level and, and get the success across all the different um, aspects of life, okay? It becomes quite complicated and you need to be a master in different skills. And if you are that ambitious go-getter kind of a guy, you will oftentimes feel that you're just overwhelmed by not just everything you have to do, but everything you want to accomplish. And you're going to think, how am I going to get all this shit done? How am I possibly going to get all this done in one lifetime? All right. And it's a problem. But, there's a, you know, there's a lot of things that you should be doing and a lot of things that you aren't doing. Like, you know, eating properly or whatever it is that, that you know that you should be doing that you're not doing. And all the stuff that's just on your regular task list and, and all the stuff that you know you want to accomplish these things but you don't even know how to do it. All right? And it feels like... Life is on top of you. It feels like you don't want to wake up in the morning. It feels like sometimes like you can't breathe. And it feels like you want to turn to other things to escape everything that's going on. This is especially true if you're disorganized. I remember this feeling very clearly from my early 20s when I felt like I just couldn't breathe. And I felt like everything was just on top of me. And I didn't see a way out and I just felt overwhelmed and I wanted to go drink and smoke weed and this, that, and the other thing. And it's not a good feeling, okay? It's not a good feeling. This is stuff I talk about in the intro to my book, How to Get Organized, which in my opinion is the most important thing that I've put out there. That's how getting all this stuff together is probably the best thing that I've I have to offer so far because it's a game changer. The but the key to the game is bringing the darkness to light, so to speak. Bringing all the problems that are overwhelming you, that are you feel like the the weight that is resting on your shoulders, just bringing them all to light, just sitting down and writing them down, okay? And I talk about this in my video how to solve your recurring problems. Just by writing them down and bringing them to light, you take a massive amount of the weight out of the problem, okay? Because by getting them into the light, you look at them like, that's not so bad, right? Like, I can actually see all the things that were attacking me before, and you take away their power by, by being able to see them, by being able to see them in the light, if that makes any sense. Okay, and what it feels like is a deep breath, and it feels like a sense of clarity and a sense of calm, and a sense of, well, oh, that's not so bad. I remember when I first wrote out all the things that were bothering me and that I wanted to get done, because everything that you want to accomplish is basically a problem that you want solved. For example, you want to make a lot of money, the problem is you don't have money. So everything that you want, is a problem that you're looking for the solution for. So when you actually go out and write all those problems down, all the things that are bothering you and that, that you want that you don't have, you go, oh, that's not so bad. I can, what if I just allow for the possibility that I could put together an action plan for every single one of these things? Maybe not this year, maybe five years from now, maybe 10 years from now, depending on the particular problem, but I could attack all these and I could be, constantly chipping away at them every single day. Just that alone changes the game. Before you, you, you even um, 
put the action plan together, just the fact that you can do it changes the game and changes your entire sense of, of being overwhelmed because now you ha you're in control. When you're not in control, you're always going to feel overwhelmed because nature or whatever it is, is in the driver's seat. You're a reaction to life. You're a reactionary to life as opposed to um, systemizing and structuring and controlling your life and getting the things that you want. I remember when I was younger, I used to set goals and never achieve them. And I hated it because I hadn't learned how to actually set effective goals. Now, whatever's in my task list, my to-do list, my goals, I, I achieve them. And that gives an incredible sense of control over your life. So the first thing um, that I recommend is to start with your four yearly goals. This so far, guys, is stuff that I've talked about in other videos and other articles. Um, but it's good to go over it real quick. You start with your four yearly goals, your wealth goal, number one, then your health goal, then your lifestyle goal, then your relationship goal. So your wealth goal is how much, let's, for example, how much money you want to make. Health is how much pounds of muscle you want to put on. Lifestyle is where you want to live. And relationships is how many girls you want to get or, you know, if you want to get a girlfriend this year, whatever it is. Okay. And in that order. And then you go through your recurring problems and you put them into projects. And projects um, are going to have like multitask action plans and there's stuff you're going to be working on over a number of years. And then you go through your daily, quarterly, and yearly tasks and write all those ones down. And then you download the free app Wonderlist and you set, um, you put all those things into the different folders in Wonderlist for goals, um, projects, tasks, and then you set the recurring um, reminders, you know, and the due date and all that stuff in accordance. And again, that you can see how to do all that in my book, how to get organized down to the level, down to organizing your room, down to organizing every single thing in your life and putting it all on automate. And you can have that all, all of that done within the week. Okay. All of that done within one week at the most. And that includes just getting your place completely organized and all, every single thing is in that book. Okay. So that's the stuff we covered before, but the impetus for me doing this video and this audio was because there's two more major impactful mentalities that I had this year that were kind of like revelations. And I want to share those with you. So number one is the mentality of just wake up and get through today's tasks. Sometimes I'll see like 12, 13, 15. Some, some days I have 30 tasks to do and I think, fuck. I got to get up and, and, and do all this and all this stuff for next week. But thinking about the stuff that I have to do for next week doesn't help. Okay. So I have a rule that I don't look through my wonder list in anything beyond today's tasks because I trust the system that I set up. I know that the reminders will get me on the particular day that I need to do those things. And as far as I'm concerned, the, the next day tomorrow doesn't exist until I get there. So it's literally taking it one day at a time and it's taking it one set of tasks at a time and only looking like, you know, tunnel vision of what you have to do today and focusing only on that. 